Hi, welcome to Storytime. I'm Daniel. I'm from the Republic of Singapore Navy. And I'm the commanding officer of a warship. And together with my crew, we help to keep Singapore safe and secure. Today, I'm going to read Papa Goes to Sea, written by Tan Wini, illustrated by Kwek Hong Shin. The book is about a little girl, Emily, whose father, whom she calls Papa, is going to sea. My Papa's in the Navy. He's sailing out to sea, to places far from Singapore to keep the sea lanes free. Can you tell where Singapore is? It's this little red dot here. And from Singapore, we go all around the world. You see all the animals here? Can you tell what animal this is? And from which country this animal is from? It's the koala, and this is Australia. How about this one? It's an elephant. Um, this is India. How about this one? It's China. It's a panda from China. And these are the places that we sail to. Before he left, he said to me, I'll call each day at two to tell you of my duties and a few other adventures too. Here you see Emily and her mama saying goodbye to her papa. You can see as well many other family members here waving goodbye to their loved ones on board the ship. He has promised to protect us and defend our home so dear, to visit ports and make new friends from countries far and near. Who do you think these people are? This is the Navy's little craft, and we're pointing at this group of people here. Do you see pirates? Yeah, you're right, these are pirates. And uh, you can see, you can tell that they have guns on their little boat here, and hands are all placed up high. And over here, you can see pictures of us with our friends in the Navy. This is our ship in China. This, uh, this is a friend of ours who has visited us in Singapore. This is a picture of China Naval Base. And you can see us working together with navies from all around the world, on our ships and on their ships as well. The first time Papa called home, he said it was smooth sailing. But I could hear the waves crash and the angry winds wailing. Can you see how high the waves are? You know, on the ship, you can feel the, the waves when they crash. And the ship moves up and down, it heaves, it moves forward and aft, and pitches as well, and it rolls, you know, moving side to side. Papa chuckled and said, How's my little girl doing? Don't worry, I'm fine and safe. That's just my tummy growling. Papa's trying to assure Emily that he's okay. You can see how worried Emily looks on the phone. I think Papa's very brave. He says that isn't so. He just wants to keep us safe from terrorists and foe. Terrorists and foe, what it means is all the bad guys. The pirates are one of those bad guys that we saw earlier. He showed us ships that sailed his way. Container ships and tankers carrying all sorts of goods from cars to my favorite crackers. Can you see all the ships here? Um, ships carry most of the things that we have at home and at work. So you can see the books, the story books that you like to read, your favorite cheese snacks, bicycles, cars, your papa mama's computers. So all the goods that we have at home and, and that we use, all of them, most of them come through the, the sea on board ships. When I look out my window and see ships out at sea, the ships that sail to Singapore, look just the same to me. Rain or shine, Papa calls at two to say a cheery hello and tell our friendly dolphins in groups never solo. We often see dolphins at sea and every time we see dolphins, all of us get very excited. And the dolphins are very playful. They like to swim very close to the ship, uh, at the front part of the ship, which we call the bow. And they like to just jump uh, around the ship as we uh, sail past them. 
Papa said he saw the stars brightly twinkling in the sky. He only thought of Mama and me and wished we were nearby. Can you see all the stars? Out at sea, it can get really dark. But because it's really dark, the stars become really bright. And Papa misses Emily and, his mama so, and Mama so much that he sees you know, their faces in the stars. Uh, when the stars come together, it's what you call a constellation. So he sees the constellation of uh, Emily and, and her mama. At home, we use scissors and glue to create constellations. We made a star of midnight blue and drew Papa in the ocean. Can you see the artwork that Emily and Mama has made? Do you like to do art as well? My children like to do art. And when I come home from a, a long sailing, they, they often make me cards and welcome me home with them. Papa called one sunny day and said he saw a whale. It was a giant out to play with a great whooshing tail. Can you see the big humpback whale here? I remember seeing the, the tail of a whale once. It was really big and even though it was quite far away, because of its size, I was able to see it. Oh Papa, where are you? Foreign shore or open sea? Are you having dinner too? I wish you were home with me. Look at Emily missing her papa. Can you tell what Emily is having for dinner? Yeah, it's alphabet soup. And if you look carefully, the words papa I miss you are on the soup as well. Papa says he's coming home. His frigate docks at two. Wish I could fly to the port. Hug him tight and say, I love you. Oh, tell me more adventures and stories out at sea of the brave women and men protecting Singapore and me. I hope you enjoyed the book as I did. Until next time, goodbye.